what are spare cells and mention its purpose in physical design process. Spare cells play a crucial role in physical design by providing the flexibility and ease of functional enhancement during the chip fabrication process. Actually, they are the pre-placed inactive gates that are added before the placement of standard cells. And these cells serve as a placeholder for future modification or the design enhancements. As shown in the figure, the most common type of spare cells includes the standard logic gates such as inverters, buffers, NAND, NOR, AND, OR, XOR, multiplexers and flip-flops. And ideally speaking, these spare cells do not perform any logical operations. They just act as a filler cell inside the design area and also the input to this spare cell are either tied to the VDD or to the ground through the tie cells because the inputs cannot be left floating. As a floating input will be prone to get affected by the noise and this could result in unnecessary switching in the spare cells, which leads to the extra power dissipation. But the output of each and every spare cells can be left floating. Now, what is the purpose of spare cells? One of the primary purpose of the spare cells is the functionality management. See, after the chip is being manufactured, if any functionality issues is being arrived, or if an improvement is required in the design, then the spare cells allow for the easier modification. The other purpose is the minimal mass changes. See, by leveraging pre placed spare cells, changes can be made with minimal alteration to the minimal mask layers by untouching the base layers unchanged. So, these are all the purpose of using the spare cells during the physical design process. Followed by here, I had listed out some of the advantages and disadvantages of the spare cells. Some of the advantages are reusability, flexibility, and finally the cost and time saving. Reusability indicates the base layer mask can be reused, reducing the manufacturing cost for the new chip fabrication. Now, with respect to the flexibility, it indicates that using the spare cells during the physical design process makes the minor design changes to be implemented seamlessly. And finally, the last advantage of using the spare cells is the cost and time saving. That is, it indicates the fewer masks are needed for a new design, saving both the manufacturing cost and the design time. So these are all about the advantages of using the spare cells during the physical design process. The next is the disadvantages of using the spare cells. The disadvantages are the leakage power and the area overhead. Now, with respect to the leakage power, it indicates using the spare cells in the physical design process contributes to the increased leakage power dissipation in the design, whereas the area overhead indicates the spare cells occupy the additional area in the chip layout. So, to conclude, the spare cells are strategically placed throughout the design, anticipating any future modifications in the chip design. They allow for efficient adjustments without requiring extensive changes to the entire chip. So this is all about the spare cells and its importance during the physical design process.